Hey, it's me, and welcome to my channel. Gotta stay hydrated. So, today, today I'm gonna be, I have a mini unboxing. I bought one fragrance off of Dossier. Um, and so, let's get to opening. Uh, I've been honestly eyeing this particular fra fragrance on Dossier. It's not one of their new or newer ones. They've had it for quite some time. And every time I went to go order that, I ended up getting, I don't know, Dossier would drop something new. Or I'd be like, let me just get this off of this instead. It was just a, it was a mess. But I finally went and got this. I had some points off of Catch. So I paid like 20 bucks for this. Um, but here it is. Comes in the regular Dossier thing. Let's open it up together. This is Dossier's Fruity Honey. Fruity. Fr oh, no. Fruity Honey. Guys, I was like, I said something wrong. Um, which is inspired by Joe Malone, Nectarines, Blossom, and Honey. So, I I went and purchased this because I've seen a couple people mention this this year in some videos. And it was on my eye on it. And I was like, let me just get it, okay? It, it Let me just go get it. I also want a wood sage and sea salt dupe, but I also feel like I don't. I don't know. I have some 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 thoughts on Joe Malone, um, the brand. Uh, I also want to go look at this Joe Malone loves. I, I just have some thoughts, and I'm gonna spray this. It's gonna be my first impression. Can I close this or no? Um, with you guys. So if you're interested in that, I mean, hit that subscribe button. We unbox quite a few different dupe houses here because money is not, you know, something you can just play with. At least not on this channel. So we got to make informed decisions and save money when we can while still feeling good, smelling good, and looking good. If any of that interests you. I mean, at this point, just hit that like button too. And let's get into it. The, does anybody else, real quick, um, in between the seasons, feel like your, your tongue gets dry, your throat gets dry, your lips get dry? I'm like, yo... I don't like this. And I need to find something to put on my lips because my lips stem. I just opened this and there was nothing in there the first time. So I doubt there's something in there the second time. Wow, guys. My lips are chapped. My lips are not popping. My lips are not cool right now. They're very, very chapped and I'm not here for this. But anyway, I like Dossier quite a bit as a brand. I think they make some pretty dang good fragrances. They are 1.7 fluid ounces, which I also think is very, uh, a, a good size, to be quite honest with you. Um, even if I did not have, I guess I'm going to put some lotion on my lips right now. Um, even if I did not have the massive collection I have, I think 1.7 ounce is pretty good for the average person. Um, if you intend to at least have around two to three fragrances, right? Or if preferably, if you have a fragrance per season, right? So four fragrances, if you have the four seasons. That notes are blackcurrant, green leaves, honey, nectarine, peach, and vetiver. So there's really not a lot of notes in here compared to some of the other fragrances. I feel like have been up my alley. But that doesn't mean I won't like this. A sparkling, a sparkling combination of juicy nectarine and ripe black currant, giving the fragrance a crisp edge to the traditionally more fruity notes. In addition, the the pairing of honey and tender peach, sustained with vetiver, offer a beautiful continu continuity, continuity to the starting tone. Y'all, my English today. Okay, so this is quite green and fresh. So don't let the name fool you. However, I like this. 
I, I, one of the reasons I didn't purchase it last year when it was warmer, because it's called Fruity Honey, um, which made me feel like it might, I be, oh guys, I'm scared of bees. So I try not to get too sweet of a smell once I see them frolicking outside, you know, doing what bees do. This is all very nice. It's quite green without being too green. Think I think if you like Flor Botanica, but you maybe perhaps want a little bit more sweetness to it, you might like this. They do not smell the same. I'm just saying in This is this is very interesting. I like this. This is um definitely smells I smell the nectarine. Okay, so here's the thing. A lot of these uh fruity fragrance notes that are in fragrances, I I don't know about you, but I don't actually consume them in real life on a regular basis, right? You know what I mean? Like what does black currant smell like in real life? I don't know. I've learned a note through the actual like fragrances i've actually eaten nectarines though so this actually smells peaches is another note that i'm i don't really eat peaches on a regular day-to-day -day basis and so i learned peaches through fragrances right i definitely feel like i get this super juicy nectarine but it's crisp and very green this is interesting I like this quite a lot. I would say it's unisex for sure. Um, there is ISO E super in here, but not as a no. Interesting. This is a so apparently the greenness is in the top note. So it should, the green leaves, excuse me. So that should make a disappearance at some point. I'm really liking this. This is very interesting. It's literally like if I were to bite uh, uh, into the nectarine and the juiciness that is that natural sweetness without like, you know, you can get like artificial sweetness. Why do I feel like every time I come on here, my lips are dry and my hands are dry. I don't know. This is quite nice. I like this. The concentration is 18%. There's something that is a touch. What is that? Like, like, not something in here. Maybe slightly powdery. I don't know. There's something in here that is reading like nothing it's telling it me it should read. So the original one is Joe Malone's Nectarine. Let's check on Fragrantica. Um, nectar nectarine is, is, nope, that's not how you spell that. Neck. Necta. Necta. Brian. Oh, first thing to pass up. Pop, Pop up. Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey. What's it with the original? Fruity, sweet, green, powdery. See? Y'all. No. I smell it. It's interesting because none of these notes, from what I'm used to, usually read powdery. But there is something powdery in this. Green notes, black currant, pedigreen. Nectarine, black lotus, peach, plum, and vetiver. So the notes are definitely a little different. Um, there's less notes in the dossier one. There's two, there's two notes that they're missing in the dossier one, which is black locust and pedigreen. Um, but there's definitely something a little powdery in this fragrance that's quite interesting. It makes it even more interesting. I feel like if you like Coco Mademoiselle, you might like this. If you like... Um, I really think if you like the Flora Botanica, you might like this. Something in here is just reading. It's not, it doesn't smell the same. Actually, yeah, people are saying that too. 
people are saying people who like this also like first thing is with jc sea salt english parenthesia coco mademoiselle chloe mm. perhaps i mean they both share that honey note right chance otandra i don't know about that this is definitely an interesting scent that I'm liking. Do you guys have Joe Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, if you don't, let me know if you have any dupe of it. Do you like it? I, I think this is an interesting fragrance. I don't feel as if it's for now at all. Um, definitely a spring, possibly summer thing. A very juicy, super ripe, almost honeyed nectarine with nice dewy green leaves attached like you're taking a huge bite. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh cut grass. Nectarine black card. Yeah, there's something definitely green about it for sure. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I like it um a lot, but it's also because like, it's interesting without being super weird. Now, will I actually reach for this a lot? That's TBH. No, TBD, excuse me tbd to be to be de determined i'm um, not sure um because that's the interesting thing about well that's the weird thing or hmm type of thing about interesting fragrances i may per chance like to smell it or like to spray it like for example this is in full bloom by kate spade and it's got, as you can see, a little denty dent in here, but I don't really wear this. I more spray this around me. Like, I like the smell, but I don't necessarily want to smell like it. And I'm wondering, and this also leans a little green, like lotion, yet green at the same time. It smells nice. I just don't reach for it to spray it on myself. I reach for it to spray on other things, whether it be air, like my sheets, my comforter, my chair. Like, I like the smell of it. Although this one has a little more sweetness to it, a little more juicy. It, it's very nice fragrance. I wouldn't say, for me, I think this is, this could fall under the clean girl aesthetic, but it also is giving a little bit of like an older like person smell, like, um, like a mature person, like perhaps in your 30s and up. Of course, you can wear what you want to wear when you want to wear it, but this is definitely giving me unisex vibes right now, for sure. But heat versus cold, they do different things to fragrances. So I will definitely come back to the, you guys with um, an update on this fragrance. I'm also interested to see if my husband is going to like this on me. Because it's real quick with uh, with the quickness, things smell like an old lady to him. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you guys see? Should I tell you? I mean, it's probably going to get sold out before, even if I don't tell you. I'm going to tell you. We don't gatekeep, gatekeep here. Dua has a dupe for Donna, born in Roma, and also for um, I don't remember the other one. But they're both $33. And with their 30% off, I mean, jump on it. Actually, I'm saying all of that, and I'm going to go jump on it right now. So, thank you so much for watching this whole video. Yeah, I'm going to jump on it because it'll be 30 bucks, right? And it's free shipping. I think I'm just going to do it because not for the Donna Born and Roma one. I don't have an issue with Donna Born and Roma. It's just not my favorite. I really like the Intense as of right now, so I might end up with a bottle, a one fluid ounce of that, or a travel spray of that. But I like the other one. What is the... I'm just going to actually real quick go on. I don't want anyone to think I'm gatekeeping stuff because I'm truly not. I just cannot um remember which one it was and i do believe we still have that 30 percent off because of their yeah birthday week sale live so it was under here we go the empress dolce and gabbana's l'ampertise is also for 33 dollars, and they had yeah, they still have quite a few of them. It's limited edition, so they made usually there's like a stock of 30 or so on there, and that but this one has 261. So I think once it's gone, it's kind of gone. 
when I smelt it the last time in the store, it was okay. I, I didn't mind it. The, it was the watermelon note that threw me a little bit. But I feel like those those artificial fruity notes um bother me. I, I like I didn't dislike it. Um, I think I just want I want it though in my collection without having to buy the original. So I might go ahead and buy this one because it's a fruity floral, which is nowadays definitely more up my alley. Watermelon, strawberry, pink, peony, magnolia, damask rose, cyclamen, woody notes, musk, smoke, and sandalwood. Was I smoking the other one? I don't know. Now I feel like I smoke. Now I feel like I definitely have to. Okay, so the Donovan Aroma is called Heart of Rome. And it's $33. I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough to buy. $33 is really not that bad, though. And then the Born Company Bar Burnt Hair. I never heard of that one. That's, um um interesting and the no only note in here is burnt hair core elon musk i gotta go i gotta go bro set to making let me stop okay all right burnt hair that was what he th came up with you know what to each their own to each their own it sounds crazy but I'm so glad he released his own from me. When you have money, you can kind of do whatever, right? Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. But yeah, I want to let you guys know of that, of those two for $33 each. And let me know if you got any new dupes recently that you're in love with down in the comment section be below. And let's chit-chat-chat. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.